It's nice in here. Usually it's a bunch of dudes. Right. A bunch of old smelly rock stars. That stink. Yes. Right, that stink. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. No. We've got pole dancers in yeah. the studio. Lauren and Nicole are here. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. A pole dancing fitness showcase and competition at the Ridgefield Playhouse uh, a week from tonight, actually. Friday, uh, October 3rd. Who judges? Why aren't we judges for the competition? Uh, see, now, well, hold on a second. Let's, let's, let's just, just put a period on that, okay? All right. This is not the kind of pole dancing that you think it is. They don't have to be naked. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, it's not stripping it's or anything like that. still going to be enjoyable to see. This is for fitness. It's a fitness competition. I'm all about fitness, man. Not a stripping competition. All right. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lauren, I'm the owner of the studio, mm -hmm. um, and basically the showcase is a great way for the women who work so hard day in and day out, and it's a good way for them to showcase um, and illustrate the hard work and a fun, loving community. Everybody who goes to right. the studio is extremely supportive, and just to show that you can be any age, size, everybody can give it a try. Right, right. So the biggins can do it. What, what are you doing? Well, I'm talking about like you. Like the biggins can do it? He could do it? Could he do it? No, we're talking about women. Who can, guys do not pole dance. What, what, can guys pole dance? Um, actually, there are some guys who do do it. There are some pretty yeah. fit guys who do do it, actually. Yes, not, not at our studio, mm -hmm. but yes. Right. <laughs> All right, so we'll get Ethan signed up. No, I'm signing not, I'm up. Come on, man. I'm, I'm looking after your fitness. Look at the flyer uh, Lauren gave me. I mean, what kind of mood? She's like upside down on the pole, and she's gripping the pole with her thighs. Yes. That you said that's a basic move? Mm-hmm. What, what's That's an advanced move? Advanced move. Um, we got tons of combinations. People are hanging on thighs, uh, upside, like reverse of that. Yeah. We call our Superman going up mm -hmm. over their shoulder, hanging on with like one hand. Do you have to be bendy to do this? Actually, no. Okay. You don't have to be. You do um, build a lot of like strength and flexibility right, while right. you're doing pull. So, I mean, like there's so many benefits to this exercise. Is that what it's called, doing pulls? Yeah, yeah, pole fitness. Why are we hold. trying to make this dirty? I mean, because it's not dirty. What, what, what did they oh, I didn't catch what, that one. You know, what did everybody <laughs> expect us to do? That's what we oh, do. Okay. You know. So you, you had to, we, we have drop ceilings, so we can't put a pole in here. You actually brought one, right? But we did, but yes, unfortunately with a drop ceiling because it's a tension, like a mm -hmm. tension pole, so we definitely need to have where Well, we how about, can we use Lou as a pole? <laughs> uh, I don't no, think that, that would work. Down. Sorry. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So it's what? Ridgefieldplayhouse.org, right? For tickets yeah. and information. Yep. Yeah. You can go on and you'll find us on our calendar on October 3rd, and right. the doors open at 6.30. The showcase and competition starts at 7.30, and we're also going to have Ariel Hoop. As well. Ariel, what is, what is Ariel that? Hoop? So, Ariel Hoop is kind of think Cirque du Soleil. So, we've yeah. got the hoops that hang from the ceiling. You're going to have hoops that drop down from the ceiling? Yes. And then, what, what happens with the hoops that drop? So, they drop down from the ceiling, yeah. and we do all sorts of tricks. We spin, go upside down, do tricks inside of the hoop. I, our listeners expect that I will ask this question, or Lou would ask this Absolutely. question. Absolutely. What, what is the, uh, what, what, what do you wear? <laughs> yeah. During this competition, right. um, uh, not competition. Yeah. So for the um, right. for the pole fitness, mm -hmm. um, usually shorts, tank top, okay. something of that nature. Yeah. Because to do the more advanced tricks, you do need to have a little bit skin contact well, because yeah. your skin is the friction, and that's what keeps you stuck right. to the pole. Right. Well, no, Lou knows that. And as as far <laughs> as the aerial hoop goes, you could wear just capris and a tank top. Okay. You don't need anything special to wear. So everybody's for that. fully clothed. That's, that's what we're yes, wear. absolutely. You and I are going to wear capris and a tank top. No one wants to sit. <laughs> Competition. <laughs> now, Nicole, we're going to we're gonna have a men night out. We're going to have a date night. We're going to drink some beers and drop some acid, and we're going to go see the show. Is not about us. They're giving, they're giving us really weird looks. I'll come, I'll come in and paint the studio for free. <laughs> anybody with a fitness background, non-fitness background, can anybody definitely can come it. in. Anybody can do mm -hmm. it and come in and give it a so try. So, what do you have? Like women from like teenage up to like middle-aged women? Um, actually, our oldest pole member is over sixty. God bless her. And she does amazing. Yeah. She does wonderful. She is. She's fantastic. So it's really empowering because a lot of people see it and think, oh, my goodness, this is not something that I can do. But really, it, anybody can try it. And we start at level one up through our intermediate advanced classes. Look, you have to understand that disgusting men like you and I. Right. And when we hear pole dancing, of course, we go of right course. to the dirty, you know? Yeah. You guys got to get a lot of weird questions. We do. we do. We get we get the array of questions, and really, um, we'd like to get the word out that it really is um, a lot more about the fitness aspects of it, and it takes a lot 
a lot of people kind of think you could just come in and just do it and walk up and do these tricks, but mm-hmm. it does take a lot of training and upper body strength. If I tried this, I'd be I wouldn't be able to walk for three days. For sure, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to be fit to start out right. is the message. Which no, you don't. seems like the, the push-ups that we did before they got here seem like a waste now. <laughs> yeah, now I'll be able to you know, lift like, anything for three days. I'm all pissed off now. Like, I right, could have right. skipped the push-ups. Exactly. Now I'll be waiting in the parking lot at four. <laughs> <laughs> Just tailgate. I have to apologize. I should have done that before we started. I'll be roasting a pig and killing beers. Okay, Lauren Just and waiting. Paul, Form Fitness Studio, <laughs> apologize again. Uh, thanks for coming in. It's next Friday at the Ridgefield Playhouse, all right? Thank you very much for having us. Thank Thank you. you. Nice to meet you guys.